Hi there, my name's Jeffrey Wei, and given that you're watching this video, you probably have some interest in learning Backbone. Excellent, I was in the same position around a year ago. So why would you choose Backbone? Well, here's the basic idea. Let's say you learned jQuery, and you were amazed by everything that you could do with jQuery, but then you got to this point where you started realizing that more or less your code had no structure. So you just had indentation upon indentation upon indentation. So when somebody clicks on this, then perform an AJAX request, and when that's been performed successfully, then do this, then append this to the DOM and fade that out. And when that's done fading out, do something else. And before you know it, you have about 10 indentations in your code, and clearly that's just not a good way to work. What we need is structure, and that's exactly what Backbone provides. It's a small MVSTAR-based framework that allows you to separate your code into models, views, collections, and routers. So before we move on to the installation, let's just do a quick overview. Backbone was created by Jeremy Ashkenaz who has contributed significantly to the JavaScript community in the last few years. In fact, he's also responsible for underscore.js, as well as CoffeeScript. And in fact, we will be using all three of these tools at various points in the course. For example, underscore is a dependency of Backbone. And if you've never used it before, it's a small library of lots of helper methods that I really think you're going to like. And as for CoffeeScript, well, we only cover that in the final lesson, just to make sure that as many people as possible can follow along with this course. However, if you are a CoffeeScript user, be sure to watch that last lesson because there's a couple techniques that you'll need to know. Finally, when we get to the point in this course where we can talk about how Backbone can communicate with the server, we're going to be using an excellent framework called Laravel. If you're not familiar with Laravel, it's a modern PHP framework. It really is leading the pack these days. And specifically, we will be using Laravel version 4. Now, I could continue on to explain the difference between a model and a view and a collection, but at least in my experiences, you don't really understand it until you're knee-deep in the code. So without further ado, let's get started with installation.